Come on, everybody! You are on the channel for English for Biology majors, which is brought to you by Ciji University's Susan Ye. We hope after you learn this class, you will think biology is fun, and to read biology book is piece of cake. Let's go! Yay! Hello, everyone. We are going to learn all the prefixes for position in lesson six. This lesson is taught also in three parts. In the first part, we will learn the prefixes describing above, below, and between, etc. However, we still need to review what we learned last time. For describing rainbow color, we use I R I D. For color, we use C H R O, chromato C H R O M A T O, and the chrome C H R O M E. This is the first suffix we learn since we start this course. To describing glass, glass-like appearance, we use H Y A L. For describing darkness, we use two prefixes: nicto n y c t o and uh, scoto s c o t o. And the last one for describing light is photo p h o t o. Now let's move to lesson six about. The relative positions for describing above. We have four prefixes: hyper h y p e r, super s u p e r, supra s u p r a, and the epi e p i. The prefix hyper it does not have only the position meaning. It also has another meaning, referring to a lot more. Like the example we are going to give all of you, hyperadiposis. Hyperadiposis, meaning an extreme degree of adiposis or fatness. Like the person in this picture, Manu. His name is、uh, Manu Garza. He was a Mexican man who suffered from morbid obesity to one of the greatest extent. Actually, he was the fattest man in the world while he was alive. His peak weight is around 597 kilograms. He was not able to leave his bed since 2002. However, during that time in his life, he followed his doctor's advice and lost almost half of his body weight, 230 kilograms. But for some unknown reason, he abandoned his original diet in 2013 and died in his hometown on May 26 of、uh, 2014. At that time. His weight is 394 kilograms. For this kind of obesity, we call it hyperadiposis. For super, we give one example: superficial. Superficial means being at, on, or near the surface. Like this is the surface. If it's、uh, close to the surface, then we said it's superficial. Superficial also have meaning, you know, as a shadow. Like、uh, when one is、uh, very shadow, we will call he is superficial. Supra, we we give one example: supracranial. Supracranial means just above the cranium. Like、uh, my hair is、uh, supracranial. For prefix epi. Our example is epidermis. Epidermis is the outer protective layer of skin of vertebrae, or the similar outer layer of cells in invertebrate and plants. 
because this layer of skin is right out of the dermis, so it's called epidermis. For describing among and between, we have only one prefix, inter, I-N-T-E-R. Our example is intercellular. Intercellular means it is located between cells or connecting two cells, then we said it's intercellular. Like this space is intercellular. For describing around, we use three prefixes. Amphi, A-M-P-H-I, circum, C-R-R-C-U-M, and peri, P-E-R-I. Our example, amphicite. Amphicite, sometimes we call it a satellite cell. It's a it's one of the cells located around the bodies of the cerebrospinal and sympathetic neurons. It's, uh, sometimes it's called satellite cell because it's around the body of uh, neurons, so it is called amphicite. Amphi means around. So amphicite actually means cell that around something. Okay. In this case, it is around the neurons. For CIRCUM, our example is circumvascular. Circumvascular meaning it is around a blood vessel. Vascular means a blood vessel. Like in this picture, it is a very small blood vessel with a erythrocyte, you know, red blood cell inside. So this area around the Blood vessel is called circumvascular. For peri, we have one example, perinuclear. Perinuclear meaning it is around the nucleus. Like in this picture, the HeLa cell, the nucleus of the HeLa cell is being stained blue. And the area that around is called a perinuclear region. We can call it perinuclear region. Let's review what we've learned for describing a run. We have three prefixes. Amphi, A-M-P-H-I, circum, C-I-R-C-U-M, and the peri, P-E-R-I. For describing below and beneath, we have also three prefixes. Hypo, H-Y-P-O, infra, I-N-F-R-A, and sub, S-U-B. The prefix hypo, just like hyper, it does not only describe in position, it also describes the level, like uh, extremely low, you know, lower than something. HYPO, we have one example, hypothalamus. Hypothalamus is a portion of the brain that contains a number of small nuclei with a variety of functions. It is located right below our salamus. See, in this picture, we have uh, salamus, right salamus and left salamus. And hypothalamus is just right below the right salamus and left salamus. So it is called hypothalamus. For infra, we have one example, infradentale. What is a infradentale? The uh, infradental is a bone measurement landmark. It is the highest anterior point on the gingiva between the mandibular center incisors. Here. Our center incisors are these two T's, and this point is called the infradental. For SUB sub, we have one example, sublingual. What is a sublingual? Sublingual, lingual actually is a, an adjective. Lingual means a uh, tongue, something related to the tongue. And sublingual means uh, something that's below the tongue, like our salivary gland. Our salivary gland, one of it is just below the tongue, so it's called sublingual gland. 
and some medicine was administered in a way that you need to put it below your tongue. Then we will also use this word sublingual to describe how it is administered. Let's review what we learned for describing below and beneath. We have three prefixes: hypo, h y p o, infra, i n f r a, and the sub, s u b. For describing center, we have two prefixes: central, c e n t r o, and the century, c e n t r i. Let's see our example. For central, we have this example: central meal. Central meal is the central region of a eukaryotic chromosome where the kinetal core is assembled. Upon mitosis and meiosis, here, this is the central meal of、uh, our chromosome. For century, we have one example: centrio. Centrio is a barrel-shaped microtubule structure formed in most of the animal cells. It is important in the process of mitosis. The spindle will one end attached to the centriole and the other end attached to the centrosome to perform the mitosis. This is、uh, centriole. Okay, let's review what we've done for prefix regarding to center. Central, C E N T R O, and the centri, C E N T R I. For describing middle, we have three prefixes. Medio, M E D I O, and the mesio, M E S I O, and the meso, M E S O. For medi, we have this example: mediset. Mediset means to cut on the medium line of the body or a structure. And mesiodens, mesiodens, it means a supernumerary tooth located. Between the maxillary center incisor teeth, like this one, this is the mesiodens. Okay, supernumerary means ah、uh, it ah、uh, extra number of teeth. So it is the extra teeth, and when it grow between the maxillary central incisor teeth, it's called mesiodens. For meso, m e s o. We have this example, mesophyll. Mesophyll is、uh, this part of the cell of leaves, which is consisted of the parenchyma, usually containing chlorophyll. That forms the interior part of a leaf because it's in between two epidermis, so it's called mesophyll. For describing middle, we learn. Medio, M E D I O, and the mesio, M E S I O, and the meso, M E S O. And the last one of this part of lesson, but not the least important, we have only one prefix to describing things that are far from you. Tell it, T E L E. The R example is telescope. Telescope is a optical instrument possessing magnification for observing distant objects, especially in astronomy. This is a telescope, and usually it's monocular, means ah、uh, you can use only one eye. Let's review what we learned this time. For describing above, we use. Hyper H Y P E R, super S U P E R, supra S U P R A, and the epi E P I. For among and between, we use inter I N T E R. For around, we use amphi A M P H I, circum C I R C U M, and the peri P E R I. For below and beneath. We use hypo h y p o infra i n f r a and the sub s u b.
for describing center, we use central, C-E-N-T-R-O, and the century, C-E-N-T-R-I. For describing middle, we use medio, M-E-V-I-O, mesio, M-E-S-I-O, and the meso, M-E-S-O. To describe things are far from us, we use tele, T-E-L-E. We have finished all the prefixes for positions in this part of our lesson. See you next time. Bye-bye. English for Biology Major is brought to you by TCU's English for Biology Major course team. If you have any questions, don't forget to visit our FB fans page. The website is here and you can also scan the QR code to reach to our FB fans page. This course is sponsored by Centers for Faculty Development and Instructional Resources of TCU.